I wanted to share a video about the successful power switch replacement that I just did on this Magnavox monitor here and how it is appears to be identical to the process for the Commodore 1084S monitor here. Uh, at a glance, can you tell which is which? Uh, they are both made by Philips, which is why they look identical. So. They are mostly the same board, some differences. Uh, this is closely, more closely model, modeled after the 1902 monitor, so some different outputs. And uh, the 1084S has some different outputs, stereo and whatnot, but they're really the same thing um, as far as the main board goes and, and the basic setup. The one on the left, the Magnavox, is a little newer, so a couple components, like you see a a capacitor here that's a little newer on our Magnavox, a little smaller. But the part in particular we're going to look at is the power switch. Uh, this is a TV3 power switch made by PREH, and I don't know, is that pronounced pre? 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 Maybe I'm going with pre. This is notorious for failing in the sense that it does not lock after a while. Something there fails where this fails to depress, and normally you don't press it again, it unlocks, none of that's happening. So this happened on my 1084S. I had someone replace it for I want to say $40, might have been $30. But uh the same issue cropped up on this Magnavox here, and I wanted to see if I could replace it myself. And I did see some original part replacements, but like most of them were from overseas and over $20, I just didn't want to spend on this kind of junky old monitor. An alternative is to just, you know, hardwire it on, which would work and <laughs> would be a lot cheaper. This is a testing monitor. It's It's got a broken front panel, the power button's messed up, but perfect for the 128. And I also want to use the uh, monochrome green screen, fake green screen that it has for the Osborne. So, I want to fix it up if I can, but I don't want to spend a lot of money on it. And what I came up with was this guy. It's uh, advertised as an AT switch. And it appears to be a, a TV3. Um, I think the maker is TECX and model. I'm going to go with KDCA04. This looked close enough, but when it arrived, I'm like, oh no, it's definitely not going to work. It's fatter, and the stem is shorter. Uh, somehow it still works, though. I was able to place it in. It it does rub up against the case a little bit, so I had to finesse that inside. Maybe I'll show that. But the stem, um, when you actually depress it, is the same height. So the, the depression depth is the same on that switch. So the button itself there's a little bit of air when i go to press it before it makes contact with the switch but it turns on and off just like it did and for four dollars it was 7.99 for two so four dollars i'm very happy with the solution the uh, interesting thing i found is when i pop this one open the replacement for it was uh, a similar tv switch but it was made by canal i guess the part number is PSD1, and that's a TV8, which I think the numbers relate to the amperage rating. I don't know. Not an electrician. But this canal one I liked a little better. It seemed to have the right length of stem, so it felt uh, that contact was a little more spot on, just felt like more like the original switch. So if I had to do it again, I would I would go for that canal switch, but I don't know, four dollars. Very nice, very nice. But um, I do want to take just a closer look at this. Um, the the tight fit. Um, I had to kind of get in there and just sort of pinch it this way. Not very hard. You know, very gentle with this stuff, but come on, practice what I preach here and take it slow. There we are. And yeah, that'll slip out. And it's a real straight replacement. It's you know, wire for wire, soldered in, soldered out. Drop that back into place, good to go. So out of all the problems I could have had with this, 
uh, it's just a miracle that <laughs> this does work. And I, I, I'm hoping someone else might see a junky old Magnavox monitor that might not be worth much. And a, a quick switch replacement might just do the job. So, hope it helps someone out there. Uh, certainly helped me. And I will do a follow-up video seeing what some of these machines actually look like on this guy. I'm excited. All right.